welcome to Costco Zine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Kirkland Signature Spiral Sliced Ham. This is a product that can be found at Costco around holiday occasions, such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. This is a product that's not available all year round at my Costco, and you can find it in the deli section with the cold cuts and the sausages. The cost of this Costco Kirkland Signature Spiral Sliced Ham is $6.99 per kilogram. Um, my Spiral Sliced Ham cost me $34.98 Canadian and it weighs about 5 kilograms or about 11 pounds. This was bought in March and the best before date is about 2 months from the date that I purchased it. It does need to be kept in the refrigerator and I will mention that on the packaging it states that as soon as you open up the packaging and you cook it, you need to use it up within 3-5 to five days. So if you're going to have a lot of leftovers, I recommend freezing them. The ham comes in a mesh bag with everything you see here. So I opened it up and you get your ham, you get your glaze mix, and you get an instruction booklet on how to cook the ham. I'm going to go over how you cook the ham now, just in case you lost your instructions. So you want to remove all your packaging and you have to preheat your oven to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. You will cook your ham in a shallow roasting pan and you want to put it face down. So you want the round part facing up. Pop it in your oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit and you cook it for 12 to 15 minutes per pound. And the instruction booklet says that's approximately two hours. So it depends on the weight of your ham. If you have a really small ham, it might be done a little bit earlier. And if you have a really large ham, um, it might take a little bit longer. Another thing I forgot to mention is you need to cover your ham um, pretty tightly with foil. So you need to have foil in your house to cook the ham because that will retain the moisture of the ham as it's cooking. To prepare the glaze, you mix the uh, glaze mix with 45 milliliters of water and you cook it on the stovetop in a saucepan and bring it to a boil. You take your ham out of the oven after it's been in the oven for about two hours and you pour your glaze over top as well as you can brush it in between the slices of ham that's already pre-cut. After that, you're gonna preheat your oven to 425 and put it back in the oven. I got a little confused because in the brochure that explains how to cook the ham, there's two different sections. And one section said that you put the ham back in the oven after you put the glaze on uncovered. And then the other section said that you cook uh, the ham covered with the glaze on for eight to 10 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So either way, you're cooking it for eight to 10 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. After we thought about it, we decided to uncover the ham with the glaze when we popped it back into the oven because in, in my opinion, that just made sense to make like a crusty kind of, you know, brown golden glaze. Once your ham has been in the oven with the glaze on at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes, you then remove the ham and let it sit for 10 minutes before you serve it. I'm now going to prepare my ham for the oven and cook it and then I'll let you know how it tastes. I cooked my Kirkland Signature Spiral Sliced Ham and now I'm gonna take a taste. 
This was actually pretty easy to cut. One thing I'll note is that the whole ham isn't sliced. About half the ham is sliced. I usually really don't like ham and I used to dread it when I was a kid knowing that we were having ham. This is actually really good. It's tender, not too salty, it doesn't taste fatty at all like the ham that I've usually had that's kind of mushy and fatty and greasy tasting. And the actual um, glaze on the top just gives it a tiny bit of sweetness, which is really enjoyable. If you're watching your sodium intake, you might not want to have a bunch of this ham. In a 100 gram serving of the Costco Kirkland Signature Spiral Sliced Ham, there is 190 calories, 10 grams of fat, 950 milligrams of sodium, 8 grams of carbohydrates, 0 grams of fiber, 2 grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. Considering I'm somebody who really doesn't usually like ham, I have to say this is actually really good. It's a really reasonable price. It's super convenient to make, way easier than making a turkey in my opinion. And you get a ton of ham. The ham serves 12 to 16 people. So if you only have like a family of four or you're just having a couple of people over, you get a ton of leftovers. There's actually a recipe for split pea soup also um, in the little book here that comes with the spiral sliced ham. I would say for special occasions like Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Easter, this is a must buy item from Costco. That's it for my review of the Costco Kirkland Signature Spiral Sliced Ham. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see more Costco food reviews, go to my blog, costcuisine.com. You can follow me on social media by searching Cost Cuisine on either Facebook or Instagram. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as I continue to eat my way through Costco for you.